Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one more time to Hotel Borobudur Jakarta. On this occasion, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Dino Augusto and my partner, Tarolet Andarini, who will host you today at Hotel Borobudur Jakarta, gets together with Cesar Milan. Jennifer Maja is known as a dog lover, entrepreneur, influencer, content creator, and YouTuber. And she also hosted the Hotel Borobudur Jakarta YouTube playlist, Happy Talk with Hotel Borobudur Jakarta. Jennifer Maja. Sophia Lachuba is a German-born Indonesian actress and singer, as the icon of beauty and elegance, and of course, an animal welfare activity that has been amplifying the issue throughout Indonesia. Ladies and gentlemen, it's giving a buzz to Sophia Lachuba. And of course, we are super excited. The smile is on the corner. American Mexican TV star, book writer, dog whisperer. He is widely known for Emmy nominated television, the series Dog Whisperer with Cesar Millen, which produced and broadcasted more than 80 countries across the globe. And a man who just changed me just a few hours ago, just changed me into the worldview with his philosophy. Ladies and gentlemen, Cesar Millen. Good evening everyone, I'm Jennifer Maje and on behalf of Hotel Borobudur Jakarta, I would like to welcome you all. Yes. Thank you so much for coming and I'd like to thank Mr. Tommy Winata, yes. Arta Graha Peduli, yes. Arta Graha Network and Bank Arta Graha International for making this happen. Very much so. Very much. <laughs> and today, as you all know, we have not one, but we have two special guests oh, with us you. here tonight. Thank you. The feminine <laughs> and the masculine. <laughs> feminine. And I'd like to once again to welcoming the famous dog whisperer, Caesar Milan. Thank Woo! you. <laughs> gracias, gracias. And gracias. the other one, well, I guess who doesn't know her, right? Sofia Lachuba. Yeah, <laughs> Sofia. Our Sofia Lachuba. <laughs> okay. And her dog. And her dog, Ellie, with us tonight. Yes. Yeah. She's from Bali. Yes. She's from Bali. Well, welcome you guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being here. Thank you. And then, Caesar, if I'm not mistaken, this is your second time visiting second Indonesia. Second time. I was here nine years ago, but I wow. have to say, guys. I was not expecting that many people. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I love to come to Indonesia, but uh -huh. this is like my second time, and it's the welcoming is getting better and better it's and better. better. Yes. And better. It's getting yes. better and better. Yes, wow. I love it. I love it. Well, I hope you enjoy your visit here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's get started. If you want to. Because me and Sofia have a lot of questions for you. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's what I do for a living. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Caesar, can you please tell us a bit about the Caesar Milan Foundation? I love my foundation. Uh -huh. So my foundation right now is focusing on the next generation human. Oh. Meaning I'm beginning to teach kids. Right? I believe the kids have to learn philosophy actions, right? So I believe that if you start as 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 early as two years old, right? And 
then you continue all the way to 10, they will all become dog whispers if that's what they wish. But you don't have to be a dog whisperer as a profession. You just have to have <coughs> this connection, communication, and relationship with Mother Nature, even if you're not going to do this for a living, right? It's good to have good relationship with Mother Nature, and I believe the way to do it is you understanding your energy, you understanding the philosophy, and the action is that is required to have this connection, connection. With, with animals, right? Okay. okay. So my... my is that, yeah, my foundation is focusing on next generation human. Of course, people, th people expect for me to rescue dogs, uh -huh. which I did, but that's I, uh, what I saw when I was rescuing dogs. I didn't saw an end to it, oh, right? Okay, because, yeah. it's, okay. because the human needs the education. Mm. And so I believe the next generation would do a better job than what we have done, right? Because there's an overpopulation of dogs due to our lack of responsibility. Okay. So right? you believe in yeah. empowering Humanity first. That's right. Empathy and compassion is something we have follows. to learn at early age. Yes. Right? Because oh. er, later in life, we, we think we have empathy and compassion, but we still have bad habits. Mm -hmm. You know? And yeah. so for me, I want to solve the problem of repopulation. So okay. And then dogs okay. don't get, you know, hurt on the yeah. way. And the only way you can achieve that is you the education the of humankind. That's huh? the root. The yeah. what? Yes, the root is our childhood. Yes. Okay. You know, okay. so that way we don't develop bad, bad habits. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's why you're focusing on childhood mm -hmm. education. Yes, of course I help dogs all my life and I always will. But I think that the, uh, the, the end to hurting animals is the education of our childhood. Child. Oh yes. I see. That's why education is so important. It's so the important. most important yeah. part. Early education. It's so the most important part. Yeah. yeah. To be respectful to one another. Right, to Mother yes. Nature, and then you practice it with humans, and, yeah. and that's it. You just become, that's why my mission now is Better Human, Better Planet. Yes. That's the new show is called Better Human, Better Dog, mm. right? So if you become your very best, your dog automatically will reflect your education. It doesn't matter if you have money, fame, or power. It, it's irrelevant. It's what matters is that your natural, simple, profound way of being is, 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 is lifted. Uh -huh. That your spirituality is lifted, that your instincts are lifted, that your heart is lifted, that your creativity is lifted. Because mm -hmm. it's something that we're all born with, right? Uh -huh. Not everybody's born with money, but everybody's born, born with, with spirituality, with instincts, with heart and, mm -hmm. and creativity. Yeah. So it's yes. all related. So have, yes. you, ever, have yeah. you ever gone to a home to fix the dog, but, but you actually ended up fixing the marriage or the house? <laughs> all, the you, <laughs> all the time? <laughs> all the time, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. So to the point. <laughs> It All makes sense. <laughs> yes. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, if you can, um, because people now call this is my, my, my child, right? So, so, it, yeah. so if you're going to help the child, you have to help the parents. Yes. Because right? the child became whatever the parents yes. provided, the energy, the philosophy, and the action. That's all we are. We are energy, philosophy, action. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right? So, of course, we have to help the grown-ups because mm -hmm. the kids and the dogs absorb the energy, absorb the knowledge, mm -hmm. and absorb the actions. So, of course, we have to help the grown-ups. Oh, yeah. Yes. And, 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 and at the end, I end up helping the masculine and the, the feminine masculine to get along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we hope all the best for your foundation. Oh, thank does you very it, much. Does it need to be a 50-50 balance? What do you say? Deal. Is it attainable? Say what? Is it attainable? Is it, like, realistic, having, like, a 50-50 relationship? I'm, I'm going to a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think okay. that's... I, you know, okay. I think so I, everyone in here need that. <laughs> it's going to be 50-50. A dog is going to yeah. be 50-50. A dog yeah. is the greatest partner on the, on the, in the planet. Right? Okay. So it, you do, your, do their 50. Okay. Right? So that's partnership. Yeah. Right? So yes. So if that with dogs, then we should... With our, you know, species. We're yeah. this... More, more. The only rational species in the planet. Gonna be single forever. Be careful, <laughs> be careful, be careful, be careful. Okay. No, she, yeah. So so right there you can learn something. Uh. So how not to approach. Right? So even though he wanted to pass me the mic, excuse me. Yeah. He wanted to pass me the mic. The dog doesn't know we're having this moment. Right? The dog he doesn't know we're doing this amazing event. So when you see a dog at a distance, right, you have to understand how the dog feels and then ask for the See it? From this distance, the dog is already telling me my energy is too strong. So then I have to, I have, I have to, 
and then I take this thing off. <laughs> then, <laughs> then, th so then I have to pay attention to what the dog is saying at a distance. Otherwise, I just respect what the dog is saying. I'm focusing on what I want, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? And then it's slowly, <laughs> can I take my shirt off? <laughs> then it's slowly I move in, because this is a sensitive dog. Like, so without altering the behavior of the dog, I'm moving into the space. Just slowly, look right here, look. The dog never moved from there. Mm -hmm. You see it? But if I move in really fast, then the sense that the dog is going to do this. A strong dog is going to do this. Okay. Excited dog is going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, it's three dog, three state of mind that you're going to encounter. The sensitive dogs, the, the, the very strong dogs, and the happy-go-lucky dogs. So the happy-go-lucky dogs, they're just going to jump on you. Mm -hmm. But the sensitive are going to run away from you, and the strong ones are going to go to Except you. you. Then people will blame the dog. You see it? So then that's, what, that's why I train humans, because we don't know how to, how to read or assess and evaluate, mm -hmm. and then read the communication, and then make the reaction there. That should we do because we should never break trust. So what, even though Luis is doing the right thing, giving me a mic, Luis just broke the trust. You follow? And that's yeah. his first encounter. So then that becomes the memory between Luis and her. Yeah. And then they have to rehabilitate that. So I don't make mistakes the first time or the second or the third. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Cool. I, I mean, that was a perfect that's time. I have to use that moment. <laughs> Okay. It's always a moment to teach. It's always <laughs> a moment to teach. <laughs> ah, Thank that's you. Very good. Yes. Yes. Okay. And okay. Talking about um, teaching. Yes. Like uh, Caesar, in in a lot of Indonesian hire dog trainers. Yes. Yeah. Do you have any tips for choosing a good trainer? Is that what your dog need? If your dog needs training, training is sit down, stay calm, heal. Right, mm -hmm. so you train the dog after you have the trust, respect, love. Okay. Okay, so that's when you train. Never train a kid that doesn't trust you. Because then, you know, when I was a kid, uh, the, some of my teachers were not really good mm -hmm. <laughs> about uh, maintaining the trust. Mm -hmm. So they can't teach me. Oh, because you didn't yeah. trust Right, you. that's right. Yeah. I can't, I, I, yes, I want to trust, I want to respect, and I want to have fun. Mm -hmm. I'm a kid. Okay. Right? Okay. So, so it's very important that to understand the difference between a dog trainer and a behaviorist. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm a behaviorist because I can rehabilitate a dog, but I, I focus on training the human so I can rehabilitate the dog. So if, if your dog needs training, and then a sit down, stay calm, heal, you can do agility, you can do search and rescue, things like that. But if a dog doesn't trust or doesn't respect, and then what you need is someone like myself. Wow. Right? Okay. Yeah, something similar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then, then we supposed to teach you natural, simple, profound approaches. Right? The first thing I teach to people is to stay quiet. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Yep. So most people, when they are around dogs, they like to do, oh, my God! Yeah. That's, That's so right. fast. Oh, my God! Oh, my God, I love dogs! <laughs> right? So when you practice this way of being, you're going to create a very excited dog. Right? So what I do, if you see me around dogs, I stay quiet, I stay calm, social distance. So I introduce myself with calmness and silence, or silence and calmness. Right? So then the dog would associate me with the calm person style. So the dog will imitate that. So if I do, ah, the dog will imitate that. Mm. Right? So that way I become a source of excitement, which not only makes you a friend, but what you want to become is the leader of that relationship so you can guide you know the relationship make sense makes sense yes so okay. calm confidence first calm confidence yeah. okay calm confidence. calm confidence calm confidence oh, yes. oh and then you always said like exercise discipline and affection that's right so so i believe there is a formula rituals and symbols i'm a virgo <laughs> My daughter is yeah. my two daughters. In the hole. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as a Virgo, I like to structure things up. As, as Self-knowledge is very important. Get to know yourself, get to self-love yourself, self-value yourself. So I believe there is a formula for everything, right? So you want to accomplish certain things that you follow a certain formula. Mm -hmm. So most people, when they have a dog, they like to follow this formula, affection, affection, affection. Mm -hmm. 
But then they forget the exercise. They forget the rules by the limitations. That's, discipline is not punishment. Discipline is how uh, Olympians become Olympians, right? This is how you, when you go to school, uh, you have to be disciplined. Discipline is not punishment. Discipline is, is what allows you to have structure within your life. And then affection is at the end. Okay. Body, mind, heart. So dog people like to do affection, affection, affection. And they forget about the exercise. And, uh, and when they walk a dog, they like to walk a dog in front of them. Never walk a dog in front because you're following the dog. Unless uh -huh. the dog is looking for, you know, truffles or something. Or search and rescue. <laughs> the dog is actually doing something constructive. Otherwise, when you walk a dog in the street, the dog is just going to find pee, poop, squirrels, <laughs> cats, and things like that. So the dog goes into an explore state of mind. Follow, play, explore. So the dog has to be next to you or behind. Oh, I Look, see. when people walk a horse, where is the horse? Right here. When people walk dogs, where is the dog? Right there. Yeah. You see it? So horse people actually do it right. Dog people do it wrong because they put a dog in front. And then they put a harness. So now the human is all over the place. Make sense? Yeah. So if you can walk a thousand pound animal, which is the horse, if the horse is in a follower state, that's why that is possible. Yes? So no one question. You know, horses being a follower. But people, for some reason, they don't like to practice that. They want the dog to be in front enjoying life. That's not enjoyment. Because you're never going to be able to take the leash off. Okay, Make right. sense? Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. You got to learn really fast. <laughs> it's <a> very <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. What happened with Ellie? <laughs> She's just, she wants to go to her mom. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what should I do? Calm confidence. Calm confidence. <laughs> 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 disagree with the behavior. So listen. How do so I in a house what, what is the right way to disagree now with her? Well, first of okay. all, it, it, she, this is anxiety. Yeah. Right? So, so when the dog is anxious, you acknowledge the anxiety. You know it's anxious. Don't give affection to this. A lot of times people like to give affection. So when yeah. a dog is making this sound, they say, they start saying, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So when you give this kind of communication, the dog takes it as it's okay to be anxious because you're rewarding the state of mind. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Right. So the right thing to do is everybody has to be in agreement. So everybody in the house have to have the same agreement. Oh. Right? The same agreement. And then everybody in the house have to learn to practice leadership. With a, with a harness, you're not going to be able to. I know, I know, yeah. That's right. So once you put a leash on a dog, in this part of the body, you now can guide the dog, right? Now you can guide it's the okay dog. It's okay for me? Yes. To hold yes. for thank you? you? No, thank it's you, okay. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so that way, when a dog is paying attention to something else, you can actually guide him and ask him to practice avoidance over there and pay attention over here. See, the sound stops. Because now the brain is being guided to do something else. Okay, oh. which is? Well, in dog shows, have you seen dog shows? Yes. Yeah. So dog shows, they keep a leash all the way in the top, mm -hmm. from yes. a chihuahua to a gray dane. Okay. Right? The reason why they put a leash all the way in the top in a dog show is to keep the nose away from the ground. Oh. 60% oh. okay. of the brain is controlled by the nose. 60%. So their nose is our eyes. Okay. So if you control the nose, you control 60% of the brain. Yes? And then, and then the eyes. Okay. And then it's the ear. So a dog born with the nose open, eyes and ears are closed. 15 days later, they open the eyes. 21 days later, they open the ears. So it's nose, eyes, ears. Mm -hmm. You get it? So yeah. your job is to connect to the nose. Mm -hmm. Once okay. you have the nose to you, then the eyes are with you. Okay. So how is this possible? Well, you know that we have humans who we call blind. And those people, when they have a dog, they actually walk better a dog than a human that is not blind. Of course. <laughs> yes, because they can't waste time not trusting. Yes. Oh, they okay. have to trust each other. Right? Yes. Yeah, so the dog doesn't see the human as being blind. The, the dog sees the human as being calm, confident. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You see it? Yes. Yeah. So people with disabilities make dogs normal. Normal people make dogs handicapped. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's you see, because they're not expecting their nature of following at 100%. Right? Yeah. Then they ask the dog, you want to go for a walk? <laughs> so they ask permission <laughs> to the dog. 
And then they said, don't, I don't think he wants to go to the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just I, come out with these stories. It's reality and stories. Let's live in the reality. And the stories just leave it for later. Wow. Right? Wow. Uh, was I to live a normal life? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's change that, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But and it gravitates it's whatever you want. It's simple yet it's simple. complicated. Since uh, it's know. complicated in the beginning because you're getting in touch to your spirit, instinct, heart, order. Right? So most people do heart and then mind. So it's, so, so it's called emotional intelligence. I want you oh. to use your spirit and your instinct and then your heart. Trust, respect, love. And then walk with the dog that way. And then eventually, once the dog knows, oh, you just want me to follow you. And then you take the leash off and then you trust, respect, love. The leash is trust, respect, love. We're the only species that put leashes on animals. Because we don't trust. Okay. You see yes, it? Yes. But the nature, I'm from Mexico, guys. <laughs> so I never saw a dog on a leash. Three, no, there's three dogs. <laughs> they, they walk off leash. In, you know, dog park. Oh, yes, the yeah. whole country is a dog park. Okay. <laughs> if a dog in Mexico <laughs> wants to go to the beach, he goes to the beach. Okay. <laughs> he, he wants to go to church, he goes to church. Wow. You see, <laughs> to the market. Yes, the whole, so in America is the place where everything is, is oh, if you want to practice this, you have to go here. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see it? Mm -hmm. And I never knew the dog parks existed. Until mm. I went to America, <laughs> <laughs> right? And then leash, and, and, and the people were worried about their dogs. I never saw it. Mm. You know, I never saw aggression. I never saw fear. I never saw anxiety until I went to America. So dogs in third world country are skinny, but they don't have psychological problems, right? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Dogs in America are chunky, and I get to have a TV show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Good They're for supposed you. to be perfect. <laughs> They have everything. They live in poor. Okay. Uh -huh. Right? They yes. have the, the, the human has money, <laughs> <laughs> but those are my clients. <laughs> <laughs> Make sense? Make I just want to give you a perspective because everything is perspective. Mm -hmm. Right? Which perspective do you follow? That's the relationship you have. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. simple. Natural, simple, profound, or the other one? Mm. I like the natural, simple, profound. Wow. Wow. That's what I teach the world. Right? And that's what the world needs, mm -hmm. in my opinion. That's why you have the foundation. Right? That's why I have okay. the foundation. I'm so yeah. looking forward. I'm 53 now, so for me, time is everything now. Oh, yes. Right? As soon as you hit that 50, <laughs> time is everything. <laughs> right? So I want to make sure I don't waste time. And the way I, I, I'm doing it is by make sh making sure the next generation human. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. let's, let's get to them. Okay. So, wow. Yes. yes. Thank you so much, you sir. Pleasure. Wow. Talking about time. Yes. I already get the sign. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. I went <laughs> off the script, but uh, I, no. I live in the moment, so <laughs> that's yeah. me. I enjoy well, life. Yeah, mm. I'm sure we still have so many questions for yeah. you. Unfortunately, yeah, we have to end this talk show. Yeah. Uh, but after this, we're going to have a barbecue dinner by Hotel Borbudur Jakarta. Okay. And you're going to join us as well. So yes. maybe if you guys have any question, you can ask Caesar directly. Yeah. And it's okay. not the dog, eh? <laughs> it's not the dog. <laughs> so just to begin, it's not the dog. The dog doesn't have a problem. It's, 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 it's what energy, philosophy you need to do, and then the, the actions is exercise, discipline, affection. Wow. Right? The three activities is follow, play, explore. The dog have to first master follow, then the play. The, the play and explore is a reward. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. the, the ball is just a reward. And the yeah. dog being left so he can do whatever he wants, that's a reward. The first one is follow. Master, oh. follow. Okay. Like, master it at a, at a mastery level. What's the most simple reward, re reward you can give? A that? healthy human. Uh, healthy. <laughs> it's not simple. Because you can give affection <laughs> not feeling good, and the dog is getting the affection with the toxic human. So the most healthiest affection you can give is your pure, calm, confident love and joy. Mm -hmm. You see what okay. I mean? So never give affection if you feel guilty. Never be, feel, give affection if you feel tired. Never, otherwise, that, that's energy. You're also giving it. Oh. You know what I mean? Lonely. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yes. <laughs> <I'll see you. laughs> yes, exactly. Don't, don't, don't do that because no. then the dog knows. It's something weird inside this human. <laughs> okay. Listen, calm, confident, calm, love, confident, joy. Calm, love, confident, love, joy. Calm, confident, love, joy. Yes. Calm. 
Calm, confidence, confidence love, love, joy. And, joy. and that creates trust, respect, love. Trust, respect, love. Yes. Okay, well, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Indonesia. Sophia. I love you so much. Thank you so, so much, much. Sophia. Wow. So much, Sophia. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much for being thank you. vulnerable. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much for being here, you yes. guys. Thank you, Jennifer. How do I look with? Thank you. <laughs> oh, you like my shirt? Hey, you like my shirt? Big round of applause. Thank for you, guys. Well, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go into the picture of all of you, and the photographers are ready. Yes. Thank you.